It's time for some eggnog cupcakes! Hi, welcome to Cake Mom. Hey. I'm Abby. This is Emery. That's Aaliyah. And on this channel, I share with you guys some of my favorite tips and techniques as well as recipes to help you with your home baking projects. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the notifications bell so that you can see when we post our next video. Today, we thought we'd make something really fun and really kid friendly, which is some eggnog cupcakes. No alcohol. No alcohol. The recipe will be in the description below, but here's everything you will need. Can you tell me what we have out here? Butter, flour, sugar, egg white. Eggnog, bacon vanilla, and nutmeg. To start, we're going to cream our butter and sugar together. Then we're going to add our egg whites. You will want to cream that mixture for about 30 seconds to a minute until it is light and fluffy. Next, we're going to combine all of our dry ingredients and alternately add it with our eggnog, which always we start with our dry ingredients and end with our dry ingredients. Last but not least, we are going to add our vanilla and kick our mixer up to about medium-high speed for no more than 30 seconds, just to make sure everything is well incorporated. Now it is time to scoop our cupcakes, but we want to make sure we line our cupcake pan with cupcake liners. You can use whatever color you would like. We're gonna do black. Black. Can you help me put them in? Now you will want to fill these about three quarters of the way full, no more than three quarters, otherwise you'll end up with a big old cake, cupcake mound. That's not so cute. Now we are going to bake these cupcakes at 325 degrees for approximately 15 minutes or until the top center bounces back when lightly pressed. So now it's time to make our frosting. This frosting is another one of my great grandma's secret recipes. She always called this funny cake frosting or wallpaper paste frosting, and you'll see why in a minute. <laughs> but I chose this frosting because it uses milk and we're going to exchange that for eggnog. Step one, I am going to make a cooked paste out of the eggnog and the flour. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add the eggnog and the flour into this saucepan, but I'm going to make sure to sift the flour before it goes in because I don't want any lumps in my paste. Now I'm going to cook it on medium low heat until it comes to a simmer and gets very thick like a puddingy paste. Then I'm going to strain it into a clean bowl. So now we want to cover our paste with plastic wrap. Make sure that the plastic wrap is touching the surface of the paste. We are going to set this aside at room temperature until it is either slightly warm or room temperature. You want to cool it down most of the way. While it is cooling, we are going to work on step two, which is to cream our butter and our sugar until it is light and fluffy. Then you're gonna wanna add some salt and some vanilla since we are using unsalted butter. You want to add lots of flavor. Once your butter and sugar is light and fluffy, which will probably take about five minutes. You will add your cooled paste and then whip it for about one minute until it is super fluffy and frosting-like. Then it's done. Our frosting is complete, our cupcakes are cooled, and now we are going to decorate. So what you will want to do is get a piping bag with some sort of a star tip. I love this star tip. It is a 1M star tip. It makes a really defined star and I really love it. So we're going to fill it up with our frosting. Now we're ready to decorate. My favorite way to decorate cupcakes, well, I have two favorite ways. One is a spiral swirl going up and the other is a rosette. I'm gonna show you both and you can decide which one you like better. I've also made a little bit of eggnog sugar, which I just took some turbinado sugar and added a little bit of cinnamon and a tiny bit of nutmeg just to be extra awesome. There they are, our eggnog cupcakes. These are delicious and also super easy, so they'd be great for your next Christmas Yummy. party. If you want to go above and beyond and make them adult eggnog cupcakes, you can stick little bottles of rum in each of these. <laughs> 
hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you will make these. If you did, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and share with your friends. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channel and hitting the notifications bell so that you can see when we post our next video. Have a great day!